Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video, and today guys, we are back with some more Stella Arcana. Today guys, we are going to be continuing the story. Now, where we left off last time, if I remember correctly, we had um, decided to break into the Emperor's uh, palace to see if he was okay, because he got, like, he fell ill. So we have to go see if he's okay, if he's still alive, and if the minister is ha making a conspiracy to... <laughs> Basically try to take over the kingdom while the emperor is dead. That's basically like what we're, what we're understanding right now Basically humans are kidnapping fish people and fish people are kidnapping humans And we don't really know who's right and he's who's wrong. So that's what, what we're trying to figure out So since the last place like the um fish people were spotted was team uh, valley we had to go back there to um uh, wait, no, no, no. I don't remember why we're, we're back in Steam Valley. All I remember is that, like, part of the story led us back here. And while we're here, we're saying goodbye to everybody we didn't get a chance to say goodbye to. That's where we left off. I don't know, remember why we're here specifically. I just know that, like, we decided to go into, like, to, into the palace. And then, like, we had to do a detour into Steam Valley. And I have no idea why. It's been, like, a week since I played this game. <laughs> um, so... Mohad, what are you doing here? Cecilia is worried about you. Oh, I was just thinking. There's some strange marks here that caught my attention. Oh, what is he doing out of the um astral mark thing? Like, what is he doing out of the core? Sorry for interrupting you. Lots of things seem to happen here. What have you found exactly? Um, place this crystal underneath the waterfall. The illusions inside might give me some clues. No, what? Yo. Why is it my character is like, oh, random dude with a harp is telling me to do some things? Oh, yeah, man, I don't just trust them. Like, what? I mean, man. Wait, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. I feel coldness and darkness in the illusion, but wrapped in the darkness, there's also a ray of light. That's weird. I can't see anything. Haha, <laughs> I'm more attuned to nature, so I can sense these things. The people who come to Steam Valley to steal the Mountain King's core are more... Than just demons there. I don't know. I need more time to verify my theory. Well, don't just stay here all night. I've got business to take care of, so I can't go with you. But if you think of anything, you should tell uh, Palladio and Feral in Floral Forest. You can trust him, and he's also a mystic prophet. Yeah, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, actually, hold up a second. This dude can see the future. Are we really try not trying to get this man to give us more, like, prophecies? Because, like, this man was like, oh, yeah, you about to be, like, about to be bitten by a dog, okay? We still don't know what that means because it still hasn't happened to us yet, right? But, like, I think it'd just be a better bet to just stay in that forest the entire time and just, like, wait for him to have another prophecy, man. Come on now. Like, genuinely. Because, like, we, we could do all this detective work or we could just use magic. I mean, if a person could literally see the future, why are we running around trying to be a detective? It don't make sense. I mean, I, I do know that, like, in the story, like, dialogue, they stated that, like, the prophecies, like, come and go very, like, infrequently. But still, it's seeing the future. I don't care, like, how infrequent it is, bro. If I see the future, it's over. Like, I'm planning my entire life around that in a couple moments. I promise, bro. Okay, if I find anything, I'll let Palladio know. Man... Mo these people are just too trusting also like I, I don't really get it you know what I mean like Mohad still hasn't told us his true identity because when we asked he was like oh yeah I'm the guardian of the starlight blah 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 and I can't really explain much now but uh just trust me and he just left that's that's basically why, why are we trusting this man like like <sighs> being away from this game for a week has given me some clarity why are we just trusting this man he literally appeared in a core of starlight and then was like oh yeah I'm a guardian, but I can't remember anything except that. Oh, you just have to trust me. Goodbye, and then just left. Why do we trust him? <laughs> like, it literally makes no sense. I mean, like, honestly, it makes no absolutely no sense. Like, he claims to be a guardian, but, like, we don't have any proof of that. You know what I mean? I'm back, and I've got the plum grass. Ha oh, yeah, right. That's why we went to Steam Valley. We had to go grab plum grass. I, re I, I remember now. We had to go back to Steam Valley... To grab plum grass. I can't remember for what. But, um, right. Wait, I think I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed to make disguises to get into, I think it's to get into the, like, the fish people kingdom. Or, but we're trying to get into somewhere and we needed disguises. So we went to the magic prophet and he was like, I, man, but you're gonna need this magic herb. So we had to go back to Steam. Now, yeah, now it's coming back to me. Now I'm starting to remember now. All right. You took your time. I was about to nod off here. Give me the plum grass and all that. 
you know when everything's ready. I uh, I had fun in Steam Valley. I, it was nice seeing everyone again. I also bumped into Mahad. He said that the man in black who sold the Mountain King's core is more than just a demon. He also said something weird about a ray of light wrapped in darkness. I assume that that ray of light is going to be another Starlight fragment. Because so far, I think we found like two or three. And I think there's like supposed to be 12. So like, I I'm assuming that that's another Starlight fragment. But... I also have a theory because I've read the game's description, right? So if the man in black is more than just a demon, could he be the god of chaos, right? Because this, this story is basically, there was a god of light and a god of chaos, right? And they fought, and basically, like, the god of light won, but he had to spread his powers into 12 starlight crystals. And then, like, they, they basically got lost, and that's why we're trying to find them. But what if he's more than just a demon, could he be, like, the god of chaos? Bro, that would be so sick if he just, like, pops out, like, full demon form, bro. That'd be amazing. Yo, that's be kind of cool as a boss fight. I won't even lie, bro. Now I'm kind of getting my hopes up about fighting him again. Cause last time we didn't fight him, we confronted him, and he was just like, "Don't, don't fight me again, or I'll, uh, or I'll kill you." And he just disappeared. So like, you know what I mean? If he is, that'd be kind of cool. It, it would make sense why he's trying to collect the crystals. A ray of light wrapped inside darkness. I believe that's a reference to the man in black and how he used to be a good person. But let's sort all of this out before we start talking about him again. Oh yeah, no, nah, hold up, he can't be. Nah, he literally can't be, because if you go into the mercenary thing, right, and then you go to, um, like, where is he? Because the man in black is an act is a mercenary you can recruit. See, Arabia, here. Um, he once abandoned the creatures of light to sneak a peek at the currents of the other worlds. Yeah, so he must have been human at one point. That, like, so he can't, he couldn't have been the god of chaos. Nah, he, he's definitely human. Ha, huh, that, that kind of sucks. That ruined my theory immediately. I just had that. I feel bad for these fish people. I literally just one-shotted, like, an entire group of fish people. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Let's begin. This person will... Uh, ma uh, this potion will make you... I was about to say, how does this person make you do anything? But uh, Let's begin. This potion will make you look and smell like a merkin to other people. So let's drink this potion and... Ugh, it smells like dead fish. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> do we really have to drink this? Just opening the vial is enough to make me hurl. Just shut up and drink it. We need to find the truth. I'll go first. Glub, glub, glub. Wow, impressive. <laughs> Alright, um, use disguise. Alright, let's drink up the potion. And now we're a merkin. And I, I need a screenshot of this, man. Alright, uh, let's, let's enter camera mode. Alright. I can't not get a screenshot of me being an adorable fish person. Alright. And... Oh, come on, dude. I need to... Yes. Alright, perfect. Take screenshot. Oh, come on. That was a perfect screenshot. Save. There we go. That That's literally adorable. The, I had a little baby hysteria at I me mean, as if he was my child. I now have <laughs> given birth to a fish child. So, do I look like a merkin when you look at me? I think I, it worked. Wait, why is he smaller than me? That doesn't make sense. Wait, he's taller than me when he's a human. But when he's a merkin, he's a midget. That don't even make sense. We should try not to speak too much. Let's just find the, the stupidest looking Merkins we can and ask them. Just follow my lead. How are we going to sound like Merkins exactly? Whatever. Let's just go. Also, how are you going to be able to tell, like, which Merkins are the stupid ones? Because, like, with humans, you can kind of tell, right? But that's because they're humans. Like, like we know, like, our own species. But, like, how are you going to, like, look at fish people who all look practically the same and be like, that one, that one right there, the one that, that's, like, eating on that rock? Nah, he's the dumb one. Like, how, how are you going to tell? Actually, I guess if they're eating rocks, it kind of it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, stop right there. Which pond are you from? I don't think I've seen you before. Yo, what? How can you tell? You all look identical. My my friend, it's us. We're from er, that pond over there. <laughs> I'm an awful liar. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I remember you now. I'm going to throw my phone out the window. I'm actually gonna throw my phone out the window. Yo, when they were when they, when they said let's find the dumbest merkins we can, I thought that was a joke. How did this man? Yo, this man's stupid. Yo, you're kidding me. Wait, is all it takes to infiltrate the damn fish people kingdom to be like, oh yeah, I'm I'm from the pond over there. You know, I'm I'm from that one pond that has that thing that does that thing that 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 looks like that thing. You know. Like, like, this man, I literally didn't give any specifics. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm from that pond over there. Points in general direction. Yo, this man is stupid. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember you now. I thought your kids had been taken, too. Wait, what? Taken? Are you talking about the humans? Are they taking Merkins? Who knows? I certainly don't. Well, 
Actually, maybe I do, but I was wondering if you could help me first. There's this pirate octopus who's constantly bullying me. You youngins look pretty strong. Could you go teach him a lesson for me? Oh my god, the way I waddle is so adorable. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Yo, wait, what? Oh, damn it. This wait, are you trying to tell me that if I fight the disguise wars off? Wait, but but what happens if like a fist person sees me while I'm fighting? It's like, ah, that Merkins has turned into a human. Perfectly normal. Honestly, wait, we said we were from a random pond and they believed us. We could literally tell them we were just born like this and they'd still probably believe us because this Merkin is stupid, stupid. You're back, and it sounds like you gave that pirate octopus a taste of its own medicine. Okay, let me tell you what I know. One day, the water in my pond was a bit cold. Cold enough to sort of wake me up. The air around me was freezing and I got up even though it didn't feel like I was in control of my body. I believe this is what humans refer to as sleepwalking. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, alright. I got. I had to like, I had to reposition myself. Okay, I had to get ready for how dumb this statement is gonna be. Or I can just, I... You ever just meet a person who, like, you know anything that comes out of their mouth is gonna be complete... Like, just stupid. Like, you you know if you listen to them for too long, you're gonna go brain dead. Like, I've only literally met this man for five seconds, and I can already tell he's that type of person, okay? He's li- Yo, I'm sorry. That whole pawn thing was literally- is actually getting to me. How can a person be that dumb? Something was wrong, though. I also saw some of my friends walking towards the western coast. It looked like everybody was sleepwalking. I could sense danger, but I was powerless, unable to control my body. In the end, I bit down on my tongue, and that woke me up. I ran back to the village, but I haven't seen those guys since. <sighs> I was afraid everyone else would laugh at me, so I haven't told a single soul. Please don't tell anyone, would you? Yo. Y yo, okay, there's so much... Yo, I, I I remember looking at the reviews for this game, right? And, like, seeing some people, like, question the dialogue, right? Because, like, we've seen it before in, like, previous episodes. If you go back, some of the dialogue doesn't, like, look like it was written by English speakers, right? Like, it's just, like, it's all over the place. Like, you literally could not could not understand what the person was trying to say. You just have to skip that entire dialogue bo like, box. But... I also saw, like, a couple comments being, like, the dialogue is, like, too simplistic or, like, it doesn't really make sense. Honestly, I kind of have to agree. I mean, did this man, this man really so said I was worried people would judge me, so I didn't tell anyone. But I just told you for uh, no reason since we literally just, like, right, ran into you. Don't tell anybody. He has no reason to trust us. Why would he, like, it makes no sense. Like, it literally makes no sense. Like, I, honestly, like, I, I feel like we're getting some main character privileges. We've come here and not found the slightest uh, tr trace of humans, but we have learned that a lot of Merkins have been disappearing too. Maybe the uh, perpetrator is from a different fraction entirely. I think it's pretty clear that a third party is involved in all of this. Maybe a demon, but what, do, uh, but what do they want? Are they trying to start a war between humans and Merkins? I finally thought we'd be getting somewhere, but it seems like we are more in, like the more we investigate, the more confusing the truth gets. I hear footsteps approaching. It's the Mer uh, can patrol. Oh no, the potion's starting to wear off, and I can't. Uh, uh, and I can kind of see a real face. We need something to distract them. Oh, this was our our friend. I was confused why we were just talking to a normal um. Why we were just talking to a normal uh? What's it called? Like. Uh, what's it called? A normal, uh, Merkin. I was kind of confused, but I, I get it now. It's actually the night. We found not one trace of any human so far. Maybe the Merkins aren't the killers, you know? It's almost as though the Chancellor tricked us into coming here on purpose. That's what I'm saying. I really think he's just trying to, like, take over the Empire while the, um, like, Emperor's kind of, like, sick right now. Sick or dead. I think he might be dead, and the Chancellor's using him as being sick as a cover-up. You know what I mean? Like, yo, don't go in that room. That emperor has corona. You don't want to even see him. And then, and like, the actual fact that the emperor is just dead. And, like, like he just has the door locked. Like, that'd be genius. Because nobody's going to want to go in that room. And, like, the dude just stay, stays dead for, like, several months. And the dude just gains power. Like, it makes perfect sense. I agree. The Merkins do hate humans and the Holy Sanctum. But not enough to go around eating them. What if... Huh? It looks like there's some light coming out of the crack in the wall. Where? What? Where? 
Where does he see a crack in the in the rock? Where? There's literally nothing here. Uh Okay, sure, whatever. Looks like you've hit the jackpot. You're you're lucky so and so. What? Something's not right. The gem is a Holy Sanctum me Medal of Honor. And I remember it was inlaid at the hilt of Arabia's sword. Do you think that means Arabia came here? What do these missing people have to do with him? Okay, so now we're getting a cutscene. What happened? Get help quickly. The shark is awake. Oh, no. Alright, Shark, I heard stories of when I was traveling, I used to be a, the king of the eternal coast until the merkins and humans banded together to defeat it and seal it in the ocean floor. How could it have awoken? Maybe the seal just weakened naturally or maybe someone broke it deliberately. I would not want to be a merkin right now. If we help the merkins out of this, they might trust us and forget their old grievances. What do you think? Uh... I think we should help the Merkins defeat the shark, regardless of what we might get out of it, but the shark is extremely powerful. We're going to need to find some reliable a allies. Okay. Yeah, alright, let's go, let's go. Um, alright, quick team. Uh, create team. We're gonna make it, uh, our team of mercenaries. There we go. Your team is full. Do you wanna head to the target level? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. Alright, so this is gonna be much easier than the, um... Then the normal, uh, why, oh, we have to, okay, we have to go through this again. So this is going to be much easier than, than the normal dungeon, right? Because the normal dungeon is impossible. I, I literally cannot beat the normal dungeon, like, on, um, hero level. This is just a, a random boss fight. It's not even in a dungeon. I don't have nothing to be worried about. Wow, that was easy. We literally had nothing to be worried about. Wow. <laughs> I wish the dungeon was that easy. I mean, oh my god, the dungeon is insane, bro, oh my god, dude, the dungeon is insane, okay? Literally, on hero mode, I can't even get past the giant crab. That giant crab, like, swings his, like, crab pincer thing once, and I'm dead, it's crazy. Like, he literally does 90% of my HP in one hit. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, wait, what? We wouldn't have defeated shark if it weren't for you guys but what were you even doing there in the first place we came because a lot of humans have been going missing recently and there were stories that they were being eat e that they were being eaten by merkins but i swear on my honor as a holy sanctum inspector that faust has been with me this entire time so he couldn't have killed your brother we merkins have never left our territory yet many of our number have also disappeared lately we thought they were being abducted by humans and i saw faust murder my brother and seal the merkin detrop with my own eyes you can't tell me i'm wrong about that someone must have impersonated me to stir up trouble i swear to you i would never do something so despicable wait a minute both of these things are so strange and i can't shake the feeling that someone intentionally is trying to cause conflict between the merkins and the humans if you can bring yourself to trust me i can try and help you find the missing people and your brother's true killer. Seeing as you helped us vanquish Shark, I can trust you for now. But until we find my brother's so-called true killer, I won't believe Faust is entirely innocent. Now be gone. You know what? That's fair. You know, that's actually reasonable. It's like, it's like I'll work with you for now, right? But until we find an actual, like, like uh, your so-called the actual person who killed my brother, I'm still not. I'm still be suspicious of Faust. You know what? That's actually surprisingly reasonable. Alright, um... Did the princess go back? Safe, uh, safely back in the castle? Captain, did you find out anything? There was no sign of any humans with the Merkins. And oddly enough, a bunch of them have gone missing too. So now we have, uh, two cases instead of one and not a single clue to go on. What should we do next? We need to flush out the fox out of his hole. Let me handle it. I'll do it. Points at the missing arm. I look like I'd make an easy prisoner and they'd be more likely to let their guard down. That's, yeah, that's actually true. I mean, they'd look at him and be like, oh, he only has one arm, he's weak, let's imprison him. And then he pulls out his axe and slaughters them all. Because, like, you gotta remember, before we got, um, what's his name? What's his, uh, before we got... What's the name of the, our mercenary? Right. Before we got Epsilon, Emilio was literally destroying the arena, okay? So, like, like honestly, I would not underestimate Emilio. This man is crazy. On, on, like, I would not be surprised if Emilio could butcher the entire Royal Guard. 
And I just not, I hit my mic so hard there. I am so sorry for everybody's eardrums. I am... <laughs> my mic is currently on a table. And I accidentally hit the table so hard the mic almost went flying. That's... I'm, I don't even know how that sounded. Because it's not like I have, like, headphones in. But I just have to apologize for everybody's eardrums. I mean... <laughs> I can just, I can only imagine how bad that must have sounded like. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> Emilio, put this on so you look like an ordinary farmer. Huh? It's ruined. <sighs> no matter. Ow, there's, uh, there's loads of straw in this. It's really prickly. Looking away. <laughs> just get on with it. The previous owner of these clothes was very hard working. He was in the fields morning, noon, and night. Okay. So now we're dressing him up as an actual farmer to, like, make him, uh, fit the part. All right, let's see if this works. Um. All right, do you think we can find him? Look, the fish took the bait. All right, all right, all right. So he's been kidnapped by, like, a shadow. What was that? Did you see where he went? There, quick, don't lose him. It looks like the man in black is the one who's really been killing the humans and the merkins. The man in black, he... He also stole the Mountain King's Magma Core and Steam Valley and the Swarm Mother's Jade Essence in Floral Forest. And now he's involved in everything that's happening here on Eternal Coast. Alright guys, so that's all for today's episode. I'm leaving you guys on a cliffhanger. If you want us to go confront the Man in Black and get Emilio back, then... Subscribe so you guys get notified when the next episode comes out. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. And if you guys want to talk to me or talk to your fellow viewers, use the comment section down below. I hope you've all had a great day. If you haven't, I hope it turns into a great and wonderful day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. See you guys later.